The Novartis Foundation has set up a major research partnership now last year on uh, leprosy, in fact. And what we do is implementing something where there is some evidence already existing, but the policy is not ready to adopt it as a global health policy. So what we do is implementing preventative treatment for contact persons of infectious patients. And uh, we want to build a critical mass of data to demonstrate that this really can have an impact on the epidemiology of leprosy. I think in a research partnership, all of these principles are very important. But for us, uh, obviously, the first one, setting the agenda together with all the stakeholders involved and getting their point of view on what they want to know out of this research is definitely crucial. And uh, of course, also because we are um, an organization that wants to build evidence on something that works, we want it to see, uh, to see it applied, to see it translated, the evidence we build translated into policy. That is what we call success for our research partnership. So I think the first and the last um, principles are for us maybe the most important ones, but it also depends on the stage of the research partnership. When you want to partner um, with one or more partners on a research project, you really have to set the expectations of all the partners so that you are talking about the same things. It's very important in the beginning that you clarify that your objective of the research partnership is similar to what the other partners have in their minds as an objective. Otherwise, um, the discussion will go in different directions and you won't get to the results you, you expect. One example of a, of a major program and a major research partnership we have set up in the Novartis Foundation is the leprosy program that is introducing uh, chemoprophylaxis, so preventative treatment for contact persons of infectious patients uh, in several countries in the world. And there, uh, the major challenge was really to talk about the same objective. We had all in our heads that kind of the same objective, but when we had to write it down and to agree on that, we really wanted to measure the impact of such a major undertaking, um, we had some differences in, in ideas. And if we wouldn't have clarified that in the beginning, which took a while to get everybody on the same line, if we wouldn't have done that in the beginning, we would never be able to report results in two or three years' time that have demonstrated an impact on the epidemiology of this disease, for example. In the example of the leprosy research program to introduce preventive treatment for contact persons of infectious patients, the most important enabling factors have been really our relationships with certain of the other partners in the leprosy world, if I may say. So the, the relationship with the stakeholders on the ground as well as in the research partnership are very important. If you, if you don't agree on uh, how certain research partnership will be implemented, or if you don't agree on the common goal of the research partnership because of um, difference in opinion, you won't get there. So it's very important to build on good relationship with all stakeholders and get everybody who needs to be involved really involved in that discussion. For a new research partnership project now, I think we've learned from, uh, from several previous experiences, that the best thing is really to go with a very open mind, very objectively look for the best partner, the best fitted partner. But it's really the most crucial thing that you identify those partners that are most uh, aligned, most fitted for the purpose of the research. Because it's easier to go with those you know already, but it's not necessarily that there's not someone else out there who could do the job better. And we have to always keep our minds open to be innovative also in our partnerships and specifically when it comes to research.
the advice to someone who would start a new research partnership program in a low and middle income country would definitely be that you have to set the agenda together from the start with the local partners because people on the ground are the ones who will use your research and your evidence that you built. So if you didn't convince them about um, how we would get to an answer for their question. First of all, it has to be their question, not our question. And if we then come to an agreement how we will measure the results of a certain intervention f to answer their question, then it is uh, it does have a chance on success. If you don't have that local buy-in and the local ownership from the start, it's the same with an operational program as with a research program. You really need the local partner to take it up as their program.